Hi everyone, it's Adriana here, product featuring the Couture Creations Alcohol Ink Stays in Place Ink Pads. These are a fabulous tool for all your stamping needs. They're a permanent ink that can be used on non-porous surfaces as well as porous surfaces. So I'm just going to go through the couple of colours here, just the black, white and bronze. Now I've had a few requests about the black, which what's the difference between the two of them, or actually the three of them. First of all there is the mini black, jet black little ink pad. This is ready to go. You don't have to ink that up, you can use that straight away. Then there also is the matte black stays in place ink pad. This has the re-inker and the applicator tool and you have to apply it on the ink pad. And then there is the pearlized one which is called jet black and the container does have a pearlized sheen to it as you can see on the cover of the jet black. It's got a little bit of a sheen of pearlized black. So I have with me here a piece of Yupo paper and a piece of cardstock and I'm going to show you the difference of what it looks like when you actually stamp it on these two surfaces because actually one, the Yupo paper is non-porous and cardstock is porous and the difference in drying time takes a few different um, time in for the cardstock is pretty much dry as soon as you place it on your cardstock but with the Yupo paper depending on the atmosphere and humidity it may take a few minutes to dry so I'm, first of all I'm using the Midi Jack Jet Black this is a great little stamp pad to take away with you on to retreats great to have all day for stamping it's a great black and it's been used on Yupo paper just leave it to dry for a few moments and it also can be used on cardstock. It's a great little black stamping tool, great for all your stamping needs. So as you can see I've stamped it on my cardstock and also on the Yupo paper. On my cardstock it was ready dry but on my Yupo paper I'm not going to touch that because it's going to take a few minutes just to dry. So now I'm going to show you the difference between the jet black and also the matte jet black stays in place ink pad. Remembering after you've always stamped on your stamps, you definitely keep it clean when you finish stamping with your stamps. So now I'm going to use the larger of the black. I've got the jet black pearlized one and you can see on the container it's got a pearlized sheen when you take it out of its packaging. The other one is matte black. And these both have reinkers and I'm going to show you how to apply the reinker when you first purchase your ink pad. It comes with an applicator tool. I just get a glue dot from our glue dots roller and I place a little glue spot underneath the stamp pad and that will hold the applicator when I'm not using it. So to apply the re-inker, you definitely need to, I'll keep this little piece of plastic that is attached to the foam pad, that will keep your foam nice and moist. So to apply the ink or the re-inker onto your foam pad, you must give it a great big shake. Um, the, all the pearlized have a little bead and little ball in there to break the pigments in the re-inker. And just squeezing the colour through, you don't need to place the ink through the whole of the ink pad, you only need to do a section of it. And the reason why we do this is because it is alcohol ink, it will dry up and you don't want to be wasting your whole re-inker on re-inking the whole surface. When you're stamping, you only need a section of it, you don't need your whole ink pad. So I'm just placing the re-inker of jet matte black on the foam and then with my applicator or little squeegee I'm just making sure that I glide the ink into the foam pad. Very easy to do and not really messy at all. So once you've done that it's ready to be you can use for stamping. So once I've done a section on the foam pad I get my applicator tool and just make sure that the ink gets into all the foam and just make sure you clean that little applicator tool so you can use that over and over again. So now I'm going to stamp my little happy birthday stamp 
and I'm going to do that on cardstock and on Yupo paper. Reminding you, this is exactly the same colour as a little mini one. It's just that it's already the mini one's already got the ink on it, and this one here, you just have to apply it. The reinker for the large, all these reinkers can, can be sold separate, uh, sold separately. So once you have finished your reinker, you can buy your reinkers again, and you can also add the matte jet black reinker to the little mini one as well once that ink is all dried up. Again, cleaning your stamps after every use. So there you have the stamping on Nupo paper and on cardstock. Now I'm going to use the Pearlized Jet Black. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it, so sometimes it looks a little bit like a dark, dark grey. And I really like it on cardstock. It really gives a really nice finish on it. But this one here I've already inked, so it's ready to go. So I'm just placing the ink on my ink pad and stamping it on the Yupo paper and also on my cardstock. If this does dry out, you just get a little bit of alcohol blending solution to moisten the ink pad and add a little bit of few more drops of the reinker if your ink pad has dried up since you last used it. So here I am just stamping on Yupo paper. Again, I'm going to let that completely dry and then on cardstock. So easy. So stamping on different surfaces, the drying time is different. With cardstock, watercolour, any porous surface completely dries straight away once you've stamped it. But with Yupo paper or any other non-porous surface, it does take a few minutes. Always replace your lid and also um, keep your reinkers available for when you need to use it. And as you can see, I've just rubbed my finger over the cardstock that's completely dry and the first one that we did here on Yupo paper is completely dry but the other two there just been, are still a bit wet so I won't rub my finger over them. Now I'm going to be stamping on translucent Yupo paper and also some craft paper. I'm using the black and also the matte jet black. So this one here is a matte black on translucent Lucent paper. This is like a vellum. It's the Yupo paper, translucent Yupo paper. So that will take a few minutes to dry. The craft is ready to go once you've stamped it. I'm now using the bronze stays in place alcohol ink and this is ready to go. I'm just going to stamp on the craft paper because I want to show you how really nice this is on different colored paper. So the reinker, if it ever dries out, you just apply the reinker to the ink pad once you haven't used it for a while. So here I'm stamping the bronze onto craft paper and I'm also going to stamp the bronze stays in place ink pad on the translucent Yupo paper. I really love the effect on the translucent paper. I have made a few cards with this and with also the stays in place alcohol ink pads and I'll have those in the next few projects on my YouTube. So now I'm doing the Arctic White stays in place ink pad. Again I place the ink in the middle of my ink pad. I've placed it some on my craft paper but I couldn't do it on translucent paper because that wouldn't show up as well. So I placed it on some black Yupo paper. And here I have stamped the Arctic White on black Yupo paper. So there you have a little bit of a guide through on using the black Arctic White and bronze stays in place alcohol ink pads. These are available now from your local paper craft store. Be sure to visit couturecreations.com.au for more projects and more ideas and more tips on how to use the Couture Creation Alcohol Ink Stays in Place ink pads. Happy crafting. See you soon. Bye.